Hello everyone, Sam 2009 Borough here again and welcome to part 2 of my SimCity 5 uh, well, Let's Play tutorial thing. We're turning things around actually quite well. We're making it into a little bit of a prop. Well, we're not going to make any profit at the minute, but we're turning things around well. Uh, we have our connection to our highway, we have our city up and running, we have some buildings. It's a start. Okay, the next job is to um, look at um, how happiness levels are. To do this we can look at our data map and click our little smiley face and see what's going on here. Right, they say they need workers, they say they need workers. They seem to be... Yeah, they seem to be uh, sort of a worker shortage. Yeah, we need more residents, it says there clearly. So I'm going to actually create quite a large residential area in this corner of the city. I'm going to create a nice, out of nice blocks. That's far too wide. Um, what is it? Nope, that'll be about right for a, a city block. I'm going to put three of these in, because we've got a lot of money, and I'm going to make them all into residential zones, because we desperately, desperately, desperately need residences for our city. So that should get some people moving in, taxpaying citizens. As you can see, our city is quite large. It's already quite a, covered quite an area. We only have 252 people living here by the time we've covered the whole area. If we covered the whole city like this, you would probably have only a couple of thousand. However, as things start to grow up later on, things become richer and bigger and more dense. Um, because the better your city becomes, the more skyscrapers are going to form. Um, that will rise to around about 100 to 120,000 people on this map. Which is really good. So yes, we can, as we can see, our population is growing and so is our profit. They're making profit now. They're making a lot of profit. They, they're doing alright. Don't like that we have no power, more, need more shoppers. Well, that'll come in time because um, things are uh, forming. Things are still building. Um, I don't really know what, what else to do at the minute to kind of get our city moving in the right direction. We've got some profit. I guess we could start to look at some sp city specialization and make decisions. Trading, town, electronics. That's going to require a lot of education, I think. Culture, maybe. Lots of tourists. Yeah, okay. See, why not? Yeah, let's, let's create a bit of a tourist town. Invest in it to say, turn a small town into a tourist destination. Schedule a bit like football games, rock concerts. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's big. So let's put that down here in the sort of uh, specialization, what I call a specialization zone. Okay, that is going to cost us quite a lot. I know, as we can see, our citizens are really, really happy at that. So things have started to grow. Uh, yeah, this will turn our city into quite a payout as you can see. The expenses are always going to be the same. It doesn't matter how many people visit it, clearly the expenses are always going to be minus 300 an hour. But the uh, payout as you get bigger crowds and all that is going to be really cool. So we're going to create a really cool little tourist city on the corner here. Right, we've got a big area over here for commerce in that corner. So uh, on the front, keep the residents out on the edge. As you can see, city population is still rising. Let's see how our um, citizens are doing back down here. Okay, here comes the night. 
as you can see our solar power plant starts to run on battery power um, if we need more power we can always put a backup uh, wind turbine station in um, but I'm sure you'll be fine if you're starting out with this game I do recommend build, starting a flat city as I have um, until you learn sort of the basics, learn how to build a city, watching you know, my videos, then the choice is yours, guys. Go for it. I say, good luck. You know, build on a big hill if you want. You, you know, choice is yours. Enjoy building. Happy building. Anyway, um, let's extend uh, that out to uh, the edge there. and then build from there outwards like that and um, air pollution levels rising that's okay because it's over that side more industry this is really really going well um, better than I thought actually so we have some more factories and as you can see we're making a healthy little profit um, under our payout you know so we can schedule an event um, we can have a motocross we can have a, uh, a sports event and we can have a rock concert and you can see the payouts of this are uh, quite enormous for the spending so I'm gonna go small time let's have a little bit of a motocross let's have a, let's have a little bit of entertainment so we spent some money on that and um, and that's scheduled at 8 p.m. Um, today which gives us plenty of time in the game as it's as you can see the time down here where the mouse is uh, February year one it's it's really it's going well uh, that'll give us plenty of time to consider how we're going to get tourists into the city well the only way I can think of doing that is I could say an airport but is, is, is this a railway railway line oh that, that's that's really really handy in that case we shall build a railway right next door must be the snap point yeah okay I know where's a snap point then give me a snap point oh I see you've got to build a line first wow that's annoying anyway no 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 not square just a line there we go very good and we have ourselves a railway connection this will bring tourists into our city uh, I didn't want to do that no 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 not cancel that I wanted a straight line road silly machine there we go that's it and that should bring some mass tourists a massive tourists into our city um there's the end of the railway line actually I wonder if I can bulldoze that out no I can't okay I suppose you can't bulldoze um mainstream uh, world event in world places so our railway line must will, will soon be uh soon be uh, sort of bringing in people um, and hopefully people hear about this event needs power, what do you mean needs power? there's plenty of power in the city have we actually oh crap that wasn't uh, very right how much is this? we'll build one of these next door Why have I done that? It's kind of I'm using it as a backup. Um, I can expand the solar plant, which I will do later. But I need a backup just to ensure that the uh, 
that this goes right ahead. This thing they need power. I don't understand how that is because there's plenty of power in the city. There's plenty of power in the city, what are you on about? Let me have a look at the power map. Yeah, it's powered. Unless it's not connected. For some reason, it doesn't appear to be connected to the city. Hmm. Seems strange. There's all the money we paid to build this site, that's pretty annoying. No, it's just a sign. Oh, at last! It's actually cottoned on that there's some power. Gosh, I've been worried there. What's going on here? Add more mass. I should dare uh, not do that. That's pretty annoying. Add 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 more mass transit options and make sure there are no traffic jams around tourist destinations. Make sure there's no way of mass transit. Okay, let's zoom in and have a look at where where our little sims are going. All oh, right. Okay, I, th I said I built it at the wrong side, but hey, there we go. And the payout looks like it's going to rise. Oh wow! Oh, this is brilliant. And this, I never expected this. <laughs> well, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's going to be a sellout. I never expected this for a city as tiny as ours. Let's see how much it rises. Sorry we haven't got too much building done in this part guys, but I'm really excited about how high this is going to go. You can make your city, you can split your city in half, I mean city specialization, you can have every specialization, you have a city that does everything, though I don't think you'll have very really much room to do that, to be honest. Oh, this is fantastic. And we're making a profit as well. Well, that looks like it, it's reached its optimum payout of 84,000 sim loans. So we can't it's a sellout. We can't get any more people in. It's pretty nice that. Um Well I don't know when we're gonna get that payout, but I think we should start thinking about putting in some more specialization. I mean um the maximum attendance of that is 3,000, the maximum attendance of this is 15,000. So, oh wow, gosh, that is big and expensive. What's the, uh, okay. I wanted to try and put it uh, about here. Um, I'm thinking I might knock that down actually, knock this one down eventually. Maybe. We'll see how things go. Wow. <laughs> Okie dokie, we'll leave that there for now. Um, think about how we can make our sims happier overall here. So let's leave the city specialization out for now. And we'll end part two with that lovely little stadium being built. 
and our nice little payout which is <laughs> still working very nicely. I'm very happy about that. So yeah, we'll have a look at how we can make our sims happier in part three. So thanks for watching and join me in part three.